Well, I watch your videos all the time. Oh yeah? yeah. Well, that's cool. Just last night. Come on, come on. <laughs> have to come up. So. Ride with us in Mass. All right. Oh, okay. The high, high canal. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's pretty good up there. Oh, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. So. Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah, nice to meet you. Yep. We like finding new trails, so. Hello. Good morning. How you doing? Hi. Good. How are you? Good. Oh, donuts. What? Many donuts. Sorry. You're fine. They don't have an extra. I'm not sure if I'm recording live or not. Figure it out. You can see the screen out here. What? I said you should be able to see it in here. And that speaks to the next 20 minutes. Keep crafting the information here. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Okay. 
because the mid drive is driving the chain. And if you're in the wrong gear and you go to use that throttle or you tell the motor to do something, you're going to burn the motor up if you're in the wrong gear. Whereas the hub drive is driving the wheel. If you break the chain, if you break something on the bike, you can still drive it home because the wheel still drives. I never thought about it that way. Uh-huh. Uh, this was a little cafe. Yeah. I got stranded with that team once. <laughs> well, then you just drive it home like a golf cart. Yeah. 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 So there's advantages and disadvantages to those types of motors. How are you guys? Oh, good. How are you doing today? What are you looking at? Uh, well, you just told us that after you break a motor, the chain on the hub drive it keeps going. I never thought about that. So, what do you think about doing a mid drive to begin with? It sounds like. Uh, I, I just haven't thought about it. Until I can. Have you written any? Uh, I didn't hear one in here last year. Okay, was it a hub drive or a mid drive? Yeah. This show's a great opportunity to just try stuff because they do feel different. You know, different, different strokes for different folks, as they say. They are uh, a part of the country. We're about two hours from here. Okay. Is it hilly or is it? Uh, no, but we like to do a lot of trails, so we all over. Okay. Yeah. We we'll probably go with either one. We tell people, you know, if you're if you're doing like any kind of like really legitimate steep hills, you're going to have more torque with a mid-drive because um, it can take advantage of the gears and drive system. Just like you can. But the hub drives are they're just a lot of fun. So this one's a uh, 500 watt hub drive with a cadence sensor on it. So, Yep, so as you pedal, I'll show you how it works. You come over on this side. I'm just going to tip this over. There's a sensor right in here. And so as you pedal that chain, it reads those magnets. And that's how it gets you pedals. That's going to feel a little different. This one has a torque sensing bottom bracket in it. So this one, you know, the harder you push on it, the more power it's going to give you. Um, and they just feel totally good. So, yeah, feel free to try and load them. Uh, this display here. So this gives you everything you need. The other thing cool about our system, if you ever want, um, so we have down had more power. Yeah. So that's pedal assist up to five. And then you've got here a throttle. The brakes are e-brakes. So you'll see when I pull that brake, it cuts the motor. So you can't accidentally throttle something if you're um, and then the other thing about our system is if, if it's not behaving exactly how you want it, we have all these micro adjustments so you can adjust, you can tune how, how sensitive that pedal assist is, how the throttle activates, and all of that. It's very customizable. There's no computer or matrix you have to log into or anything. As far as my wheel, uh, that's on there, is that completely changed out or? Yeah, yeah. So what kind of track do you have? I have cat track expedition and Yep, so the wheel just comes from us, already built with the motor in it and the gears on it. And the, the wheel comes out, the new wheel goes in. Again, let's get it out. we got about five minutes. Enjoy it. <laughs> All right. It's a good ride. You'll like it. Yeah. I'll just leave her in pedal assist one now for you. Throttle's here. And uh, other than that, yeah, it's like a normal trick. So, we really so want it won't to, take uh, off until I press the throttle? Or until you, it won't add on until I push until the throttle you start down. It's in, it's in pedal assist one right now, so when you start pedaling, it will start assisting. If it's in okay. zero, then it's just normal. No pedal assist or at all. Okay, and then that goes up to how high? Up five? to five. Yeah. Okay. So which way am I supposed to Do you know how to? Do you, have you been to the track yet? No. So if you go down here, take a left out the garage door. It, 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 it wraps around, and then there's sign and everything. You come right back in here. All right. 
I've seen a few. All right. So here we're heading down to one of the sessions at CycleCon. They had different sessions where people talked. One we were heading to, Matt was talking. I'll put a link here for Matt's page. Anyhow, he was talking about international travel with your trike. And while he was sitting there talking, he said something about how he had connections because of YouTube. And he no more than said that. And I had did a sorry attempt at a live stream. I'm not a multitasker. Sorry for the people who saw that. Wished I would have done better. Anyhow, someone from the Netherlands said that they were my first one on the live stream. I only had one, and I thought that's pretty cool. So, if you're the person from the Netherlands, I lost your comment because I didn't save things right at the end. So, yeah, if you ever want to come to the U.S., you've got a contact here. Shoot me a message if you see this. I not sure who it was now. So sorry. I thought that was really crazy that that happened.
These are super large.